Some chestnuts here are like no others in nature. About half the nuts harvested at this experiment station have an added gene. It provides tolerance to a blight that all but wiped and out the American we, chestnut tree generations just, ago. We have to bag them because of permit conditions right now. Researchers will soon seek federal permission to distribute the modified trees for a restoration effort. It could expand the frontier for genetically engineered plants beyond farms and into the forests. We have this technology, it's a very powerful technology, and we can use that now to save a species. Up to four billion American chestnut trees once dominated forests from Maine to Georgia. Its nuts fattened hogs and its sturdy wood built cabins. But the blight cut through the forest in the first half of the 20th century. Trees today are routinely infected before they can mature. These are all embryos. Researchers at New York's College of Environmental Science and Forestry modified trees with a gene from wheat. It helps them tolerate blight. The U.S. Department of Agriculture will soon assess whether the tree is safe. The case is being closely watched by scientists, many who believe biotech could help save other threatened trees. In rural upstate New York, Alan Nichols is waiting to breed them with trees on his land. He fights the blight, but the trees are still stricken. Some people go, well, we, we shouldn't be playing God. And I look at it and say, you know, people have been playing the devil for years. I mean, look at the damage that we have done. And if we don't start, quote, playing God, soon we're going to lose all our trees. But critics say evaluating the long-term risks of reintroducing American chestnuts will be difficult. You know, what, what could happen with mature chestnut trees and what effects they might have in the environment could be very different than uh, younger trees and saplings. The federal decision could be a few years away. Even if approved, it would take generations to judge its success. It would grow six foot a year. Michael Hill, Associated Press.